Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Foolcraft. Hope everybody are doing fan freaking tastic. I said that super quick there. <laughs> anyway, today, guys, I I got a plan. We're gonna do some base stuff, uh, some some base building. To begin this episode and this is actually something that a lot of you guys has uh, requested have requested in the comments and we haven't done in a while like I we, we need we need to do some work but uh first guys <laughs> you know how we start these episode uh, episodes we got a crap ton of pet bags 25 pet bags we gotta we gotta crank some of these and hope for the cloud pet now guys of course if you're still loving foolcraft make sure to the, the, it's the baiting of doom. <laughs> it's the baiting of doom make sure to hit the like button down below and also subscribe to the channel if you're new okay please give me a cloud pet you freaking thing okay there is no cloud pet in here. Uh, a puffer fish, but this is good for PvP. It's a legendary pet. We've got it before. It gives uh, <coughs> it gives the enemies uh, poison and also us thorns. So whenever someone attacks us, they will get damaged. Damaged. Uh, but nothing else special that we haven't had before. That's freaking sucks. Okay, next thing. Let's check on Harry. I, I've left Harry in this machine. Oh, this is so crazy. I've left Harry in this machine since last time. Let's switch this off like that. And let's switch this off. Oh, jeez. Oh, look at that. Three new modifiers. That is insane. Look at the XP on him. 972,000! <laughs> this is... This is getting ridiculous. Hot but Ari, uh, good, good, good chopping wood. Oh, we can't put more quartz on him. Okay, we can put more redstone. Let's do that then. Uh, okay, was that... That was two modifiers and now he's maxed out. Oh, okay, so he's maxed out on... Haste, which is the attack speed, and also he's already maxed out on damage. I want to have a look real quick before we start uh, today's episode for real. Is there anything we can put on him? We, we got luck, we got sharpness. Uh, is there anything we can put on him that makes him better? Fortified. Harder, better, faster, stronger. Applies to the mining level. Oh, okay. No, we don't want that. Silk touch, we don't want. Beheading. Uh, uh, we do want beheading. How much beheading do we have on him? Oh, we got zero beheading. Okay. Yeah, we do want that, but that's kind of low. It's kind of low. Uh, l low? It's kind of late, late game thing. Uh, oh, but look at this. Hold on. Smart. I, hmm. Hold on. Each point decreases floating duration, causes enemies to float away. <laughs> Okay, that may be a thing. Hold on, let's keep looking. Web, this will give it slow, right? Yeah, slow motion. Um, projectiles ignore water. Oh. Oh, dude. <laughs> Put a fish on a... Oh, <laughs> Hold on, can we do... We can, we gotta do that. <laughs> Hold on, let me do that. Let me, let me plan for that on the bolt so that we can shoot underwater. Okay, okay, and that's it. That That was the last two. Okay, so, I mean, slowing, I'm thinking PvP, because we already one-shot a crap ton of things. Slowing is definitely a good thing. Definitely a good thing. Shulking, I think I want that as well eventually. Uh, but, I think what we should do first, should we go with Smite? Hold on, let's have a look. What is this soil thing? Constellated soil. Uh, this stuff, graveyard soil, okay. Okay, we can do that. This is easy. This is easy. Guys, in today's episode... What we're gonna do, we're gonna work on the base and we're gonna fix this mess. I got a plan for a base extension that will hopefully suit a lot of you guys also. It, it will make it so that a lot of you that have been whining about uh, not using the beautiful terrain above, hopefully you will start getting satisfied because we're gonna build up there. I'm thinking, okay, we can put this on. Okay, I got 21 more. Uh, oh, versus undead plus 7. <laughs> Oh, dude, that is gonna be insane. We gotta, we gotta, just for the fun of it, we gotta spawn a wither and see. Because skeletons and that, I can already one-shot. Alright, so I got the stuff I need. I'm kind of thinking where I should kill this guy. And, uh, <laughs> maybe this is evil, but... 
Let's do this. Let's lower the volume for when we do this. I'm gonna head over to a sumo space. <laughs> this is gonna be good. This is gonna be a little bit of a mini troll. I'm actually gonna spawn a wither, but I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> this is, okay, he's online. Good, good, good. Yeah, he's online. Uh, I'm sure that I'm gonna kill him quick enough, but I want him to freak out. So, hold on. Let me do this right. <laughs> let me. <laughs> let, let, let's. Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Oh, hold on. <laughs> He's gonna freak out. Oh, dude. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're gonna kill him. We're gonna kill him. We're gonna kill him. I, I forgot to bring my tool. <gasps> no, no, no. Please, please don't destroy anything valuable. Okay, okay, okay. I forgot to, I forgot to do my. Oh, look at the damage, though. Look at this. Aries, absolutely wrecking face. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna try and kill me now. He's gonna try and kill me. Okay, okay. Where is my wither pet thing? Uh, he's trying to kill me. <laughs> he's trying to kill me. Uh, okay. What is he doing? Uh, hi, man. Sorry, just uh, uh, k killing withers. Carry on. <laughs> so anyway, back to the base building. Um, what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's start with excavating a room in this area. And like I said, the absolute one of the first things that I wanna wanna get done. Oh, oh, we're that close to this side. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll we'll excavate this way. One of the first things I want to do is a super quick smelter because every time I have to smelt something, it's just so frustrating to sit and wait. So I got a plan. I got something to show you guys. If you haven't seen my stream, you're in for a freaking treat. Hold on. Let me put some stuff away and let me get a room sorted. I'm not sure at all what kind of design I want to go with for this room. Uh, it's going to act as a machine room where we're going to have every single infrastructure machine uh, available to us. But I think this a shape about does it. I don't want it to be too big because we want to be able to access everything within our reach. So uh, one thing to consider when you do things like this, we come up here. Right? And we'll be facing this way. So what I'm thinking we'll do, we'll have some kind of glass wind eye and for now uh let yeah let's just let's just go with a, a normal escal glass right, right there um and i think i want to do that on both sides so that from the outside you kind of see that there is something up here i think that would look really cool but the question is uh let me i'm, I'm using grass for now that's not per that's not permanent but can we get away with having the smelter right here now guys we're gonna create the fastest modded possible smelter that I've ever seen. <laughs> that is the goal. I think... No, I think that would be too weird to have it there. So maybe we'll turn right and we'll have it here. Okay, so before we come up with a design, let's start. Let's uh, start with designing the technicalities. What we're gonna do... Hold on. Uh, we're gonna craft up these things here. The ultimate furnaces. I think I showed you this recipe last time. Uh, I'm not sure, but for these we need supremium furnaces, which is uh, uh, which contains supremium. For, uh, sorry, we need supremium furnace, which contains superium furnace, which contains intermediate furnace, which contains prudentium, inferium, etc., etc. So I want to to create. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna say. At least four, at least four of these ultimate furnaces. Oh, we did it! Okay, I do have four of these. Now, like I've said, I built this in spawn, but I'm not sure that you guys have seen my streams. And I can't remember if, I'm sh if I've shown you this, but the speed of these furnaces. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> this is quick. That's one furnace. We're gonna do smelting times four of that speed. Now, uh, we gotta work some other things out as well. One of the bottlenecks that I'm afraid of is how quickly can we pull things out and send things into the furnace. 
Okay, so let's perform a little bit of a test. If I have, well, th this will kind of be the final product if it works. Uh, let's do this. Let's let's vein mine the crap out of those. Let's place them up in the air so we can see what's going on. If we have four of those, right, and then we'll have, my ideas will have an input chest and an output chest. Uh, okay, and then we'll do output here. And what we want to see is, <clears throat> can we make it so that these uh, item conduits with the maximum amount of speed upgrades in them keep up? Will they be able to pull out, giggity, as quick as the uh, uh, the things get smelted? Let's see. Let's let's have a look. Okay, uh, we'll do that, and then that's for the that's for the pulling out. Then we need to insert it, and I guess. Yeah, we will just do this for now. We'll we'll change this later. So if I have these on top, I think you have to pull them out from the bottom, by the way, because otherwise they, they kind of work like normal furnaces, vanilla furnace. Like so. Okay, so let's see if, if if the conduits can keep up. I'm not sure about this, you guys. I don't know if they can. Let's smelt up a crap ton of sand just because I'm I'm I always I always need sand uh glass. Here we uh hold on hold on we we gotta put we gotta go here we gotta put uh 15 in there okay here we go okay look at that <laughs> that is so quick they are pulling them out quick enough for sure they are pulling them a nice oh that is sick that is ridiculous all right so I got my stopwatch installed check this out. I can start and stop it. Now, what we're gonna test, I got 27 stacks to smelt up of sand. Because I can input 27 stacks in one millisecond. I can do it all at once if I double click. I wanna see exactly how long it takes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna insert all of these and start the timer. Take your guesses, here we go. Okay, okay, timer started. Okay, oh, is this gonna be insane? <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, uh, uh, soon 10 seconds, soon 10 seconds, 10 seconds has passed, half of it is done. This is sick. Okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, keep looking here, keep looking here, whatever it stops uh, pushing, pushing things in. Okay, okay. Uh. Oh, 23 seconds. <laughs> Dude, that is ridiculously quick. All right, same test again. With five, oh, I need coal in that one. Five ultimate fur nice. <laughs> this, I don't know how much this will increase, but I'm sure some math nerd out there will be like, hey, that's gonna be this many seconds. Well, good for you. I do it the manly way. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Okay, go, go in. Okay, start the timer. Uh, I did start the timer like a few milli, milli seconds too late, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I guess one of the bottlenecks here may be the speed of which this is pulling out of the chest. But I don't think so. Oh, this is so quick, dude. Okay, once it reaches here. Uh, oh, <laughs> there we go. Yes. 19 seconds. A full inventory. <laughs> 19 seconds. This is good. Show me a quicker smelter in modded than this and, and I shall applaud you. I mean, without using six of these. <laughs> of course, that would be quicker. Okay, so we got the tech uh, technique. We got the mechanics we need to, uh, to build this ultimate smelter. All right, so check this out. I, I, I put some design on this guy. This here is the input for our super smelter. I'm not sure about the block, but uh, this here is a painted item buffer, which I'll show you in a little bit, but check this out. We put the stuff in here and uh, <laughs> there we go. It goes, it goes quick. Unfortunately, uh, this inventory size is not very big, uh, but yeah. Also, while smelting, there is a lamp that, that is lit here, and behind, let me put a night vision, behind I just have that module that we had, I did hook up a uh, diamond chest as the output, and then I hooked out an importer with maximum upgrades into our system, so everything we smelt uh, go directly back to our system. I also have, I know this has been a big cut, this is actually the next day, I had some issues yesterday with my microphone, I got so frustrated that I had to stop just recording and just play for a while, 
Um, but anyway, yeah, I also have an exporter with coal uh, sitting here, exporting to this chest and then backfilling the furnace. This is good. This, this is fully automatical. We can now go up. I have, the, I have an elevator here. We can just go up and super quickly just smell things and it will end up directly back into the system, which I wasn't sure if I wanted to do, but thinking about this being an efficiency thing, I think it's the right move. As far as the design of it goes, I'm t I'm t it's, it's kind of bad at the moment. It's kind of bad. i got to be honest with you guys. Like, I'm starting to doubt this entire style. It just feels like it's something I've done before. And I may want to, like, rethink the base idea. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think. But anyway, uh, continuing this same thing. I, I just built a, a little room here. I, <laughs> it's, it's nothing special. But uh, I, I, I thought that we would put up some other machines as well. And what I want to do, I think. Uh, I'm, I've been thinking about how do one use machines in modern Minecraft. Maybe we'll do something like that. Hold on, I need some more factory blocks actually. Derp! Yeah, I've been thinking about how does one use machines in Minecraft. A lot of the things will be auto-crafted later, right? That, that's, that's how it goes. Like you, order, you, you set up auto-crafting recipes and stuff. But it's always nice to come in and be able to say, hey, I, I want to pulverize things. I want to pulverize these five things. Boom. Pulverized. Done. Uh, so I think these will all be manual machines that I can just go and put things in. Uh, kind of like how I had it in Hermit Pack, I suppose. But with the difference of um, making, it, <laughs> making it a little bit more convenient. Because I didn't have multiple inputs and stuff. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Let's put up the sag mill here. Uh, okay, and then what I want to do, like I said, uh, I want to have an input up here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use these item buffers, and then I want to have an output down here. So I come in, I can put in like uh, nine different stacks, and then I then they will come out here, right? Now these guys here is what I use here. You can actually paint them, so maybe... Uh, did I bring the painter? Is this the painting machine? Uh, yeah, let's just try to go with... Uh, hmm... Ooh, I don't know. I don't know which one. Hold on. Let me uh, let me have a look with chisel. Dark oak crate. This thing here. This looks nice. Hold on. Let me try this. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. I I I like that. It kind of brings away from the whole uh, factory feeling and make it feel a bit uh the, like ru rustic. Let's go with that for now. Okay. Let's go with that for now. So what we can do then? We put this in there, right? And then we put the item buffer there. Uh, and I got more item buffers. I don't know why I can't paint them in the same stack, but okay. P paint, paint up. There we go. Um, oh, it's because I placed them once. They are configured, so to speak. Let's, p let's put that in there as well. So yeah, we have a crate there, and then we have a crate on the top. And I guess I would use the same here. Let let's get rid of this guy. Let's put the Yeah, that's better. I like that better. It's kind of a weird style, though, but maybe that is what I'm missing. Kind of gets a rustic wooden feel in. Okay, uh, and then what I want to do, of course, then we'll, we'll put some item conduits and some speed upgrades. We still need electrical steel production, though. We still don't have that, by the way, which is what you need for the item uh, conduit upgrades. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, we'll put an item item conduit like that. We'll do extract, insert, and the idea here, what I tried to say before, <laughs> is that in Hermit Pack, I had it so that I could only input a stack at a time, but this will definitely help. Quite a bit. And I just made the best capacitor there is. Boom. Like a so. Uh, and these will change. So if I hold if I hold a wrench or a conduit, they change to their true form. They're like, hero there. This is how I look in reality. The next thing I want to do, and this is something that you guys have been telling me about. I want to try out the... Is it this thing here? The power cell from RF2. Can I, okay, I can craft it. Uh, apparently these things work like tesseracts. I, I've never used these, so let's try these, uh, let's try this out, because I need power. oh, oh, look at that! I need power upstairs, link, uh, link a power card to the left. Uh, uh, okay, <laughs> I don't understand, uh, output there, okay, the, set all sides to accept energy, okay, whew, energy, go in, okay, it goes in. This is apparently much better than the dimensional transceiver, and they're super, super cheap to make. So I need a power cell card. I don't understand. Press to clear. Insert and extract at zero. Uh, hmm. 
If I put you there, unlinked. Okay, then you're unlinked. Oh, that is how I copy it. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I have the link here. Uh, and then I just... Okay, let, let me do... Let me do this on camera. I think I figured this out. This, this wasn't... This wasn't very intuitive. So I right-click one. Okay, that said it's to a link ID. Then I take an unlinked one and put it here. It freaking says link. <laughs> Okay, so now that has link ID 9, and I guess I just put it in, uh, there. Yeah, look at that! Okay, so now this thing is wirelessly getting power. Okay, let me have a look. I'm kind of curious. This is like a technical episode. Let, let's have a look how quickly this, uh, how much RF protect this, uh, uh, what the crap? Hold on, let me, let me do out. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, dude! The transfer speed is like infinite. 5,000 is the maximum of this capacitor. Now I'm curious. Hold up. Let me craft up some capacitors here. Okay, let me try this out. So every capacitor we add will add an RF per tick thing. Uh, where can it max out? Okay, now I, I think I'm... <laughs> am I drained on power? Ah, uh, crap. Uh, oh, okay. This here is limited, of course, because it's 2,000. So let's stop this for a second. Hold on, let's do none. Let this guy fill up a little bit. I think what we can do also, power cell. Uh, it says, this block can store power, infusing bonus, reduced long distance power extraction cost, and increased RF per tick output. Uh, and there's also an advanced power cell. Which I don't know if we need, but uh, the, let, let's stick with the red one. Okay, so we can we can infuse it. Hold on, do I have... I should have an infuser. I do have an infuser. Okay, and then... Uh, let's get up to... What, what are they called? Crystals? Uh, crap. <laughs> what, what are they called? Dimensional shards. Yeah, these things here. These things we can craft in this pack using all the different basic vanilla stuff, I guess. Uh, like that. So let's then, we anyway need this machine. So I'm gonna put this machine up on the other side. Almost done. Boom. 100. There we go. So now this is infused. So that will have raised the uh, capacity of it. Okay. So let's try this again. Let me build this thing out like that. And let's see how much power... This This is still uninfused, remember? Uh, but it's now full of power. So let's see how much, how quick we can transfer power. Put this guy down. Put him to out, and then... Oh, 7,500! That is, that, is that is a good power transfer rate. I think the dimensional transceivers can do 40,000, but I'm pretty sure if we would upgrade this power cell, it could probably do more. This is, this is garbage! <laughs> oh, this is terrible! This looks exactly like how I started to make the power uh, uh, the power room on Hermi pack. I don't like this at all. I, I'll probably change this up later. But but for now, I'm just eager to get my machines up. So don't fr don't freaking judge me, okay? Uh, we'll put the alloy I, uh, other machines that the solderer. We'll put all the Ender IO things on this side here with the, this crate solution that I'm doing. You guys want to know what this is called? This is called a midlife Minecraft my series life crisis. <laughs> this is called an identify crisis. An identity crisis, I mean. This is bad! So I decided to try some dark oak all of a sudden for all of this. Like, like the logs. I'm not freaking sure what I'm doing. <laughs> you guys, this... I this is this is bad. Like this is terrible. I think I'm just gonna leave this for now, uh, and then come back to it later. Cause I'm like my brain is like, who? What are you doing, Escal? You stupid idiot! I got uh, I got some machines put up though. I got all of these hooked up. Everything is hooked up to the item buffers. Everything is upgraded. So functional wise, this will do. But <laughs> it's so ugly. I don't know what you guys think. Should we? Here's a question actually. Should we bring? wood into our base design because at the moment it's just a standstill uh, for me it's it's a big standstill like we have we have this stuff here which i really like the idea of but i'm not sure maybe we should just move if i'm honest like the best things in my base is the cow farm this thing here i really like this this is good and and then over here uh the the torture chamber hold on let me put on night vision turn on night vision yeah, this is also very good. I really like this style. But I'm not really sure. Uh, cocoa beans. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. 
that 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 actually that that's a good that's a good opportunity for me. What we're gonna do now? I I just need to <laughs> I need to leave this whole. I was gonna clear all of this up today, but I can't do it, man. I can't do it. Yes, meet in city of maybe. Okay. So let's head over to City of Maybe because I want to show you. I've done some work. Like last night uh, when I had my microphone problem, I just played for... Crap. I, I did that wrong. I just played for ages and ages and I actually... Aries upgraded again. Look at that. Modifiers 1. Which gave, gives me an idea whilst I wait for this. Hold on. Can I, can I put some more of this soil on or was that maximum? Oh, I can put more of this on. Okay. Hold on. Ver <laughs> 14 versus undead. Oh, and we can still put one on. This thing is gonna deal like 50 damage to undead once we're done. Okay, so yeah, like I said, I did a lot of playing last night. City of maybe, here we go. Let's see if anything's happened since I logged off. Yeah, look at our building. This is what I was working on. I kind of extended, I built the whole uh, square of it uh, without the details, just like the skeleton. And I think, I'm pretty sure I asked in the last episode if we should make this into a pub. And I gotta say, I got some really good logos for a pub. An Iscalium drinking pub on my, on my Twitter. Arrow there, okay, Cocoa Bean. Uh, let's give her a uh, boop, like a soul. Uh, just poop over you, P poop more. <laughs> She'll regrow them. Uh, but yeah, I like I said, I, I spent the entire night and I, I got so much good... Uh, um, uh, signs over at uh, over at my discord that I was very happy with uh, So I just I just saw, uh, said we gotta finish this we gotta finish it So I'll probably work some more on that off camera. Uh, this is coming along something nice. Look at this Hold on if I walk down this street This is impressive. We need a building there. We <laughs> need a building there, but this is starting to be impressive now I think she is working on her shop here as well today, I'm pretty sure. Uh, here's the thing though, guys. I want to give you, if you're still watching the video, I understand if you dropped out somewhere <laughs> around the midlife crisis. Uh, don't freaking judge me, but uh, here's the thing. We had a meeting last night. Foolcraft 1.3.2 is now updated. We haven't yet updated the server. I think it's going to happen later today. But in that update... There are some very big things coming that we are going to play with as a community. We got some plans. <laughs> Let me tell you, we got some plans. So soon we're going to get all the members together. And uh, we're going to have like a public announcement thing for you guys. And I think you guys will really like what we're going to do with this uh, with, with this series. It, it's nowhere near ending. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Anyway. I think I'm gonna end the video here today. That's gonna do it. Uh, we did. Uh, the, the good thing is, my game is frozen. The good thing is, we did get some stuff done. Uh, we we also checked out the the the, the power cell, which was good, and we made the uh, the super smelter. So, all in all, I'm happy despite the freaking crisis. <laughs> But that's gonna do it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Of course, if you have, make sure to hit the like button down below. And uh, also, uh, do you think you can build up quicker smelter without using more ultimate furnaces? The, uh, challenge me, dude. Ch challenge me. I want to see it. Th this thing, this thing is insane, though. <laughs> Absolutely insane. But yeah, anyway, like I said, that's gonna do it. Have a fantastic evening, and I shall see you in the next episode.